But I do appreciate you guys just coming together. You know, I don't want to sing much. I just appreciate it. We put it in the song, you know, so it's, it's all right there. So let's get one more. Let's go. Oddly enough, the background music you're listening to right now is the music I'm listening to as I'm writing the script, as well as editing the video you're watching at this very moment. It puts me in the mood to create stuff for you guys without anything in return. Planning, writing, recording, watching hentai. Wait. All this being created off this newfound drive that's acquired by simply listening to two soundtracks, in which all the songs contained within these two albums can be only described by their respected names, Departure and Impressions. Fat John, the production duo Force of Nature, and of course, Nuja Bass collectively came together and birthed a genre of music that we listen to almost regularly without giving it a second thought. Every song speaks volumes. No, every second of each song from the transitional beats to each lyrical word was carefully crafted. They didn't just make albums, they made albums and dipped it in liquid gold. You know, I could be inspired, like I have this beat that I redid, um, Nujibis did it, and then I always wanted to hear drums on it, and he never put drums on it, so I did. To me, it felt like Samurai Champloo was almost meant for the international viewer. The soundtracks tied to this anime almost make it seem to be that case. When hip-hop began to reach commercial success around the world, it was only a matter of time until it reached Japan's shores. And once it did, man oh man, look at what they gave us. Have you ever gotten an unexpected gift from your relatives? Yeah, Japan was like, hey, thanks for showing us the hip-hop scene. This is a token of our gratitude. You don't need an essay for me to say this. Samurai Champloo is a piece of work we won't forget for a long, long time. A question we should be asking ourselves is, why can't we forget about Samurai Champloo? Is it the top tier characters? The geniusly fragmented story? I would argue and say the soundtracks would keep us from remembering Samurai Champloo. There is a reason why when you type Samurai Champloo on YouTube, rarely do you get reviews, instead you get a plethora of soundtracks. Watanabe intentionally envisioned Samurai Champloo to dance along with the music. The body of music we see in Samurai Champloo is always around the characters, following their every move. Every choreographed scene felt like an opportunity to insert some sort of musical flair into the mix. To be honest with you guys, I watched this anime three years ago, and for what it was worth, the characters and story had a massive impact on me during the time I was actually watching it. However, it's been three years. I'm busy. We're all busy and it's really hard to recollect what you watched when a large amount of time has passed. As I grew older, however, my memory of Samurai Champloo has made a major shift from enjoying the characters and story in the moment to enjoying its music forever. The music itself is so distinct from the rest, comparing the music to modern anime scores, and you can tell almost immediately that this is from a completely different time. It reflects more than just the story, but its nostalgic and melancholic tune reflects my creative endeavors, my willingness to go full lengths to make YouTube an actual career path. You guys have no idea how many times I've listened to these soundtracks, even work done by the artists that's not directly tied to the anime, how many times I've listened to the lo-fi remixes while I study, or even listening to creative mashups while driving to my regular job. Just like how the music follows with the flow of the character's every move, it follows me too. It follows the listeners who enjoyed the anime and are are now remembering it through its audio masterpiece. What you're looking at right now is my room. I work on my videos as early as 3 in the morning because that's the only allocated time I have to work on them. I don't know why, but it's always cold in here. But the atmosphere fits with the music so well, it's kind of hard to describe it. Listening to Shingo 2's lyrics or Fat John and Nujabe's beautifully depicted beats on a cold 3am morning just feels right. When I play these soundtracks, 
I feel alone. It's like I finally escaped the outside world and all the pressures that come with it. I'm in my element because to me, solitude doesn't always have to be a sad time. It can be an opportunity to do whatever needs to be done. As a guy who's new on the YouTube scene, people might say, why make content and throw it onto a website where there is a huge possibility that no one will see it? Well, it's because I have good music. But, uh, on that time, uh, maybe the, or, or you didn't know me, but, <laughs> that time, the, I was just, uh, maybe the, my first, uh, only one, two, three, travel inch release, uh, in like, uh, six years old or something, so I was just, I'm just ordinary guy.